Do you believe if you had more time, you would have found some other artist other than Jimmy the Sign? Think about that real, real carefully. I have to go present to Lior and his most trusted advisors my vision for my record company and what I would do with my artists. And they're gonna make a decision whether or not I fit their company. Oh, welcome. How is everybody? Excellent. Good. I wanted to prove to them that I'm not average and ordinary and I don't wanna be average and ordinary. So I had a mask on holding the baseball bat. Intimidating. <laughs> I'm not average and ordinary. I want y'all to know that. Could I... you put it back on? Seriously? <laughs> 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 That's just another example of how I don't do what's average and ordinary. I find my own way in the door and it's worked for me. I guess I'm gonna get right into a presentation. Um, Lior, every morning you wake up looking for someone to take you on that magic carpet ride. Thank you. I'm that kid. I believe this is history. You guys can take pictures if you want or not. But take pictures of you? Of anything, this is history. I have some quotes that I really believe in that I just want to pass around. You know, those are quotes that I, that I really believe in from Thomas Edison to Mark Twain. You know, a lot of people say the music business is going through a period right now. Well, I have the fix, seriously. You know, <laughs> it's just an example of this is, hey, I do things that yeah, are different. I was different. paying attention to the quotes. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> no problem. Some people might think that was unprofessional. I don't care. I love the way I handled myself in that meeting. I wouldn't take back anything. I'm not trying to be a star. Like, I think the guy Galileo was a guy that discovered astronomy. I'd rather be like Galileo than try to be the star. The artists that I want to work with, I want them to be so freaking huge that I don't want my girlfriend to hang around them. I'm not looking to work with some dude that's biting off somebody else. I hate biters. And to me, it's so disrespectful biting someone else's talent. You know, I've done so many things that Yancey comes up and copies, you know what I'm saying? And that's cool. You could take an apple from the tree, but you can't take the tree. That's a good rhyme right there for you, T.I. Who, me? Yeah. yeah. I'm possessed and obsessed with success. Oh, shit. <laughs> what do I have to lose? At the end of the day, if I don't get, if I don't become president, I just want to know I have no regrets. I'm not going to say I wish I had more of a corporate presentation. Yeah, I'm not corporate. You know what I'm saying? And now you can't. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I ripped the cardboard in half, that didn't, I didn't care, that didn't hurt me. Here's my vision for Jimmy Cross. Gangsta meets punk. That's different, I never heard of that. I like it, gunk. Gangsta meets punk is called a murder. There you go. <laughs> I, that's cool. So with me behind Jimmy Cross, that's, that's my, that would be my focus, to, to cater to both markets. Now, the way I feel about Miserable, it was great before I heard it. I told D-Dot what my vision was. He felt my vision. So I can play you guys the record. Please. Hey! Your version isn't that different. It's not from, from the, the original. original. You're right. Uh, until you get to the bridge. So if you're going to do something to make a record successful, you better do it very close up front. Right. Because people are not going to be listening that that long. Right. If they're bored. During my meeting, um, a couple people hit me with questions, and I answered them direct. I mean, how are you breaking this guy? This particular artist, that's what I'm going to get into. Oh, going on tour with a major artist, start opening up. That's going to kind of give us a feel if people are feeling them. 
Because uh, you're just gonna call up some huge superstar and say you're taking my act out. Well, I didn't. I, I simplified it, um, but we would have to set it up. We would, it's not gonna be easy. I know that for a fact. Would you count on this artist being your first artist? I'm not signing this artist. And I think I shocked him when I said I wouldn't sign Jimmy Cross. I don't want this guy to be my first artist. I'm using him as an example of what I'm willing to do to go out. Jimmy Cross, he's a great guy, great artist. I hope he wins in the music business. Um, it just doesn't fit with what I'm trying to do as a record company. But at the end of the day, I'm happy with this presentation. You definitely feel like you deserve to have your own record label, correct? Yes. Because what? I work my ass off, I'll do whatever it takes to succeed. Here's my closing statement. This is, Jim Carrey did this, and I feel it. He wrote a check to himself for millions of dollars, post dated, he cashed it. And I'm giving you guys the opportunity to be that company that writes me that check. Because if I'm making X amount of dollars, you guys are making XXXXX amount of dollars. Thank you, no thank problem. you very much, appreciate it. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay, bye bye. Whoa. <laughs> I'm hoping that I made a good impression to them to let them know that, hey, this kid really wants to win. The only way they're going to learn is by trying to do something on their own. I mean, they've got incredible ambition, ambition that I remember myself having. This is not a joke to me. This is not a game. This is my life. This is serious. It's an amazingly difficult decision.